Hello and welcome. Sound like Alan Wicker, didn't mean to. Let's look at pinhole cameras and how to make one. So it looks like a bit of a pyramid. There's about 15 mil difference in each one. And this should give me my focal length that I want at the end. I'm going to put about a two inch block on the top and sink in a piece of wood. And then I'll put the lens in there. So what I need to do now is go through each one of these and take out the middle. I'm going to use a bit of pine, about 32 by 12, to give him a finished box for where the lens is going to go. That's roughly the width and depth of it. So I've got to come in a little bit before I can start taking out the hole. Well, I thought I'd make a some bellows out of MDF or something that resembles bellows so I've cut these pieces of timber and if I can just stick round the edge with some PVA you can see it's uh, beginning to sort of resemble bellows on the front of a camera something like that it's a start. I use a bit of ply on the back. Nice thin ply. Just got to get my corners straight first. I decided to do picture frame corners. They look better when it's finished. Might even wrap this inner section out. It's uh, beginning to take shape. Right, I just need to know where to put these four screws. That'll hold the bellows on. Yep. I know it's going to be covered but I like things to look neat. Trying to straighten it up. It's no use uh, with a ruler. I shan't get in there. But uh, a couple of bits of timber. Give me a guideline. I've got a bit of room for movement. It's not bad. It's not bad. Slightly thick there. Get a little twist. Moved it. Right, time to put some screws in. This is just a matte back paint, it's what you can get uh, from any hardware store. It covers pretty well. You can paint on iron or wood. So hopefully, a couple of coats of this. I don't know if you're like me, but I find that these always clog up, and we've got to go and get another one, another one. Bit of a tip, what I tend to do. Use a screwdriver, push it through from the bottom. That'll give me a small amount to work with. And then I'll put it on with a craft knife. Now we've got the bottom plate securely fixed and the bellows in. What I need to do now is come up with an idea for the tripod bush at the bottom here. I think what I'll do is use something like this, curve that end off and that'll give me a nice area to put the tripod mount on. Um, and then we need to do something to help hold the plate on the back, the film holder. Um, I don't think I'll be able to use the same 
as I did on this one um, because these little bushes that I used will be too tight against the body i.e. that's the only little space I've actually got to fit something I'm going to use these these uh, little shelf bracket units I'll have to drill a hole to countersink that in there place that in and that'll give me somewhere for the elastic to come at the bottom to go across hopefully that should do the job if you haven't got a, a pillar drill then a bench drill it's quite difficult but I've found that if you can keep this upright here it's not worried too much about backwards or forwards there but I've already drilled a pilot hole that's not bad I've had to dig a little bit deeper than I thought here really but um, it's got to sit flush on the bottom and on the side and I'll burn this to stop it fraying at the edges when I cut it. Push that one through. Right through. Right, I just need to create a knot there. Got that. that a good stretch that's it yeah sufficient tension to hold that there when I take these out I need to enlarge the aperture where this key went so that it doesn't impede the sides for the pinhole. I'm going to have to file away quite a bit. This uh varnish has its own problems if you don't go with the grain you leave all the brush marks behind even with a decent brush uh, I'm not very happy with the final finish I think because it's quick drying if you do in two or three spaces you know, from edge to edge on wood you um, it goes off too quickly it dries and then you put another coat and then you get streaks um, I think I'm going to have to finish this off with um, a spirit based varnish you can see I'm left with all the where glue residue was on the timber this water base hasn't taken um, and it looks rather cheap and nasty to finish. Coming to the end of this project all I need to do now is to make the back light tight and I'll use this velour ribbon with double sided tape I'll put that on the back there that should give me a nice light trap and then I need to put a mount on for a tripod. My next door neighbour knocked these up for me. Basically it's the crack nut and it's been welded onto a large washer. So all I need to do now is to dig a proportion out of the 
base of the camera and then screw it through using decent long screws I'm going to use something probably about an inch I use some brake pipe 8mm to give the base plate a bit of support and fix into the lens housing there um, I think it finishes it off quite well actually well I know this is the camera I was originally going to build but I had so many problems in the workshop with dust using MDF that's why I built the other camera so there we have it two pinhole cameras both of them 5-4 plate cameras but both look completely different so there you go two pinhole cameras if you liked it tick the box subscribe I've got a lot more ideas yet I need some way of developing the pictures away from home and a wash tank.